Welcome everyone. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Bernardo. Welcome to Tech Life Therapy. This is video 25, week nine of our tech therapy sessions. And today we're looking at the Philips Outdoor Sensor. This device allows you to automate your Philips Hue outdoor lights as well as your indoor lights. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'll show you how to set this up in the app. And then also why you need one of these for your outdoor lights. There's a lot of safety and security reasons that you should add one of these to your collection. So we'll do an unboxing, go through it. But first, let me know and drop in the comments, what is your favorite outdoor hue color setting? I love setting mine up according to the season and the holidays, but what's your favorite color? How do you light up your home? Drop it in the comments below and share with the community. Let's get into it. All right, now that we have everything out of the box, so in front of you, you've got your sensor plus your mounting brackets here on the right and your hardware that you'll need to mount this device. Okay, now this sensor was released earlier this year by Philip Hughes and not to be confused with their actual indoor sensor, which I've got one here for you that you can do a side by side comparison. Okay, so what is the big difference between these two? Your outdoor version, okay, can pick up motion 32 feet away versus your indoor version will do about 15 feet. Okay, now your outdoor and your indoor, there is a $10 cost difference. This costs $49 versus your indoor will cost you $39. But the outdoor version is resistant to all weather conditions. So keep that in mind, okay? If you look at both side by side, you notice the outdoor version is larger and it has more of an outside look, okay? This dome that you see here obviously is wider and that dark color with the outdoor sensor will help you blend in at night, especially aesthetically with the exterior of your house. All right, so I'm gonna take this away and put it to the side. So right out of the box, your sensor comes with your mounting bracket. This is your flat mounting bracket that you'll need if you're doing a flat surface. But if you decide to do something on the ledge or a corner, this is where your corner bracket will come into place. Okay, and it does come with instructions to help you put them together, which certainly helps. Obviously, mounting it outside will be a little more work because you'll have to screw your brackets into place as it does come with a couple of screws, all right, and you'll need a screwdriver. But it's super easy to install, and you want to make sure that you mount it because in case someone's highly motivated to steal it, the only way they can take it is if they bring a screwdriver with them. So setting up in the app is super easy, and I'm actually going to transition us to the app for us to begin that setup. So let me get my app ready, and we will begin the installation process. All right, so, so if I'm in the app, I'm gonna to go to settings, okay? And we're gonna to go to add an accessory. So let's see, let's start over again. So accessory setup, and here at the top, we're gonna to do add accessory. You want to make sure that you look for the outdoor sensor all the way at the bottom. So Philip Hue outdoor sensor, and it's telling us remove the wall mount from the back of the sensor to review the setup button. So let's turn this around, okay? And we're gonna hit that setup button in a minute. So we're gonna hit next. And please press the setup button, perfect. So once you hit that setup button, you should get an amber light from your sensor, which we've got now. Okay, so I do see that sensor blinking that light. So sensor is blinking. And it's searching, it's getting it prepared. It does take a few minutes, and I definitely recommend doing this inside, near your bridge. So once setup is done, there it is. So now it's successfully connected, and I need to identify where I want the sensor to be added. We'll add it to my front yard. Perfect, and it's telling me that it's all set and done. All right, awesome. So once you do program it and you have it set up, getting it into a schedule is super easy, 
okay? You just have to go into the Philip Hue app, which we're not gonna go into today, but it's something easy to do. Another feature of this actual sensor is it works as a temperature sensor as well. For that, you do need to have it hooked up to your HomeKit device, to your HomeKit through your Apple or you know iOS device, and you can see the temperature outside if you set it up that way, okay? You can also use it to turn on your indoor lights. You know, even though this is an outdoor device, I plan on setting it up with my living room lights in the event that when we're not home, it will turn on the lights inside of the house, which will also keep anyone lurking around my property. It will help keep them away. All right. So, so if you have a Philip Hue light, this is a great addition to your setup. You know, the only negative thing that I can think of about this Philip Hue setup is the cost. You know, getting into this ecosystem is not cheap. Philip Hue does have the most expensive setup when it comes to their light bulbs and some of their accessories, but this is something that I'm certainly looking forward to it and I can't wait to put it outside because I do have a couple of lights out in my yard, okay? And I can't wait to have that effect in case someone does approach my property for it to sort of steer them away. And if you're interested in having a look at my setup, I do have a Philip Hue Kala and Lily, a few of them actually set up in my front yard. And if you go to my channel, I do have a video, a 360 video of those devices outside. So go ahead and have a look if you're interested in picking one of those up as well. So, all right, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. If you have anything that you want me to review or touch on regarding Philip Hughes and that ecosystem, as I do own a couple of those devices. So once again, thank you for watching and I look forward to posting some more videos soon. Take care.